Hello, welcome back. And uh, today I'm going to show you a pretty interesting launcher that people have been talking about. Um, and that is the uh, Pixel launcher. Um, especially for the Android P launcher um, that has been on the Pixel phones running uh, beta's version of Android P. So, um, um, so this is going to be a very familiar video to you. Um, but I want to show you how to get it on um, your Android device uh, running running from Android Nougat uh, or above. So, first thing you need is you go to the uh, browser and you go to this website here, which uh, I'm going to put in the description down below. So you can see this is from the Rootless Pixel 2 launcher um, version 5.3. Um, you got, I mean, you can uh, see newer versions, so just get a newer, newest version you, you can have, but um, as of now, this is the version 5.3. So once you have done, this is the launcher that you'll get. So um, this is a very kind of similar to Android Oreo launcher, uh, but we have now the, 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 the dock is no longer gradient. Uh, it's now filled with colors. So um, this is similar to Android Nougat launcher that we used to have. And uh, on your left, you still have the Google uh, feed, which is um, relatively new. And on the top, we have the at a glance widget, which shows your um, uh, your date, your, 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 your widget, your weather, um, as well as your calendar appointment. Um, let me uh, see if it can work on this guy because for some reason it doesn't work. So you need to allow the permissions to let it work, I don't know, but um, but whatever. So um, we have, uh, yeah, this is the adult glance and this is a very clean launcher and swiping up you have the app drawer which um, holds the apps that you have installed on your device right um, and let's check out the tap and hold you get it to this overview here um, which you see the dock here is actually in line with the buttons like wallpapers or widgets home settings um, so you need to have Google wallpaper you have if you want to have this work um, the widget um, Pretty much work. Um, have this newer UI now, right? Still swipe upside down, just like uh, the app drawer. And in the home settings, you have at a glance, right? You can still adjust at a glance. Um, um, you can allow your home screen rotation, display app suggestions, display Google Apps, and you have the customization tab here. Um, you can have uh, multiple. Uh, Options to choose from. This is dark theme. Um, so you enable dark theme. It will disable dark text. And we have this darker theme, easier for the eyes. And um, yeah, it's uh, kind of well made actually. Uh, unfortunately, it does not apply for the Google feed, but you know, whatever. Um, so we have uh, the force round icons. Uh, disable at a glance, which you know, if you f find it kind of a waste of space, you can disable that as well. Um, you can force color Google logo and such. So, for some reason, this launcher, especially my phone, um, the uh, the Google search bar right here never adjusts or adapt to the wallpaper, it always show um, gray no matter what wallpaper I choose for. So um, yeah, it is uh, like a little way just to um, how to get it um, if you don't seem to be able to uh, put it on your Google Home screen. And we have another option, which is a new search bar style, which is the um, new style on the Android P, which will have the Google search bar and the voice search completely separate from each other. Uh, one have this own bubble like this. Um, it's actually pretty cool, huh? And this one uh, launches 
and it just means that it's actually launches Google Assistant and not the re regular Google Voice search um, that we usually have. And um, this tab on here we have the calendar uh, here as well. And finally, we have the hide apps, which is again it is very familiar. We have Nova Launcher. Um, you know, you just tap and hide and like that. It will uh, hide all the apps that um is in the way or something. So yeah, that's basically all the customization that we have uh, here. And I can say this launcher is really beautiful. Um, let me add the icons in here for a moment. Um, and I'm gonna tell you that the uh, shortcuts also work. Also the widgets and the app info is also here. So almost all the features from Android P will work. Um, let's see if anyone in here can work. Um, yeah, pretty much uh, nothing. Google Feed works pretty well. Um, so that's basically the uh, Android P launcher, guys. This is very simple launcher. Um, no, but yeah, people always want it because it is fast, fluid, a lot smoother than most uh, launcher that OEMs have, like you know, TouchWiz launcher or LG launcher. Um, this one is a lot more simpler, um, better performance, um, better battery life, battery life maybe. Um, so that that's basically that's it for my videos. I hope you like it, and uh, if you find it interesting. Um, click the like button down below as well as subscribe and comments for future videos and So anyways, thank you and goodbye